springtime in the Rockies. It is. Um, and Red Buffalo is a great place uh, to enjoy springtime. It is. I don't host very often anymore, and I really missed you miss your Monday drink. mornings? Yes. I How miss many my people Monday can morning. say they can say they miss Monday morning? Yeah. <laughs> Just me. Yeah. Probably. Just the, <laughs> the host of the TV8 morning show. Uh-huh. What did you so, bring for me? So I brought you one of our summer drinks because we were launching our summer drink menu on Friday. And this is our tropical matcha milk. So it's matcha green tea with almond milk and a little bit of coconut and strawberry to provide like that fun, sweeter vibe to it. And I love this drink because it's caffeinated. It's refreshing. <laughs> well, the caffeinated part's probably the most, the number one reason why I love it. Um, but it's just a great beverage. I've really come to love it a lot. And we can do a couple different variants on it. We've launched lavender again, which is one of our homemade syrups that we make every year. So that's one of our summer syrups. And you can do a lavender version of that as well. I think that would be delicious. This one's yes. delicious. It tastes like um, a little smoothie-esque, really refreshing. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it does have that caffeine when yes. we need a kick in the morning. Yes, because it's Monday. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, and in this mud season, you were telling me that you guys are going to be closed for maintenance. We are. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week, we are going to be closed. We got to do just catch up on some maintenance work. It was a nice busy winter and make the shop look all pretty and spiffed up again for everyone. But we will be back and ready and open again on Friday, bright and early at 6.30 in the morning. And then we are no more closed days until Thanksgiving. Perfect. And a lot of businesses do that. This isn't unusual at all. So yes. um, it's just time to get it everything is. in order for the summer. It is. And, you know, we're going to miss everyone for these three days. It's going to be so weird. We've never closed for maintenance before because we've always, like, done it at 1 in the morning. Um, but we got to do it this time, and I think everyone's going to love it. And then you can come and enjoy our back patio. Which, you know, some of our flowers have even started to bloom. I think they might have regretted blooming earlier this week when it snowed on them, but <laughs> they're a little confused. They are. <laughs> it's easy to get confused. This it time is. Year. You're like, oh, it's sunny. I can wear shorts, and then you forgot to bring an extra layer. Mm -hmm. And then you're driving over a mountain pass, and it's snowing. Yes. Yep. But you know, summer will be here soon enough, and we have some really fun things we're going to be doing this summer, including our coffee trike. We have a full um, bicycle-powered coffee tricycle that we will be having around Sound of Silverthorne at special events. There's and, a picture on the screen right now. Um, we're going to be getting a whole calendar of it booked out for you so you can kind of see it. It's a really fun little tool um, that we are so excited about. And again, it is 100% pedal powered. So no electricity to use it. Uh-huh, which is really cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Except maybe for the person who actually has to ride it. Well, I think for anyone Frisco. who has to ride it, there's like, it's, you're working, but you got to have an exercise while you're working. Mm -hmm. Because not all of us got to do that. You know, I see some people get like a, one of those standing desks instead, but instead of a standing desk, you can have a pedal machine. And so you'll be at hopefully some special events throughout yes. the summer. Yes, all of Silverthorne's concerts in the park, which start, they're going to be Saturday evening starting in um, July. And then we'll also be at the Lake Dillon Theater's uh, open house or their opening night, which will be the, the second to last weekend in June. So we're really excited. Silverthorne is very excited for the Silverthorne Performing Arts Complex to open because it's not just the Lake Dillon Theater who is going to be performing there. It's all sorts of different acts are going to be coming and it's going to be a really, really fun summer in Silverthorne. There are lots of special events. We have Town Cleanup Day coming May 20th. Then we have a Bike to Work Day, which for Silverthorne is Bike to Work Week. And those are going to be like bike bingo where you go to different businesses and collect a little bingo stamp to enter to win Silverthorne business prizes. So keep in um, on the silverthorne.org page or our Facebook page or anything like that. We'll have a bunch of calendars of special events coming up. Okay, great. And just remind people where your actual physical yes. location is. Keep an eye out, of course, for the red umbrella this summer. Yes, but, but our below. physical location is 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. So that's just a quarter mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. We're right next to the Silverthorne Pavilion. We're right across the street from the Summit Stage Transfer Station. Anything you want to do in Silverthorne, we are just right by it. Okay, sounds great. Erin, thank you so much Thanks for being for here today. today. Thank you for this delicious beverage. Absolutely. Happy healing. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll see you on yes. the other side and hopefully mm -hmm. somewhat summer. Somewhat summer. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Summit Sunrise. We'll be right back after a short break. <laughs>